you should hang around people that benefit you. You should be in situations that benefit you. Now that sounds like a positive thing, and it is, but what I mean by that is that you need to be in both good and bad situations. You need to know both good and bad people. And why do I say that? Well, there's a very specific reason, because echo chambers exist. If you only know the quote-unquote good things that are good for you, then you're only going to be hearing one side of a multi-faceted issue, multi-faceted um, thing in general, right? You need to have conflict. You need to have um, a sort of regulation on what you are inputting into your daily life in terms of your thoughts, your ideas, um, even just your actions, right? You need to have that conflict so you can steady your own beliefs and steady your own um, ideas on things in your own life, right? And I say that because I just found out something really cool. Um, I kind of had a general idea about it, but um, I was on the internet and obviously you don't believe everything you hear on the internet, but I found out that um, the heart, which produces bioelectricity naturally, um, is actually one of the best producers of bioelectricity. I don't know if it's specifically just the human heart or the heart as a muscle in general, but from what I understand, it's the heart and they used humans as their um, example, their reference. So we're gonna go with humanity, right? So in that video I watched, they, they said that the heart produces so much bioelectricity that it actually expands outside of our body, right? So we have a bioelectrical field about three feet or so in a uh, diameter, I believe the word is for it, around or circumference, whatever, you know, there's a circle around us and we're enveloped by this bioelectricity in a three feet apart, blah, blah, blah direction, right? There's a word for it. I'm forgetting it. I'm out of school right now. Okay. Um, regardless, we have a bubble of bioelectricity around our body and that's cool and all, but what's interesting is that since we all have this bubble, if these bubbles collide, we can feel that. And now you're thinking, well, what do you mean we can feel that? I mean, when I stand next to someone, I don't exactly like feel any specific type of way. I mean, I'm, you know, let's say New York, we're always around people. Um, you know, like, let's just say like, oh, I'm just passing people on the street or I have a job. I sit next to someone. I don't feel anything, right? I'm not saying you feel everything and anything with everyone, right? What I'm saying is, is that naturally you are putting these almost like force fields together. They're colliding and they don't just like bounce off because if they did that, then we wouldn't be able to be anywhere closer than three feet with anyone, right? Or I guess six feet, right? Six feet rule. Um, but they mesh and they collide and they they intertwine and they become one and they separate and become their own things again. They move, they're liquid, right? So these collide and they collect, right? They come together and they form partnerships. Not exactly partnerships, but what I'm trying to say is, is that when you are close to people, you receive their energy. And likewise, you give them your energy, right? This is kind of where that term vibes comes from. Like, I'm not getting a good vibe from them. They're not giving a good vibe. I should be giving a better vibe out. Vibe, 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 right? So these vibes that we're feeling is probably just this bioelectrical field all around us at all times. And when we get close to people for a prolonged period of time, we can start to feel that difference, right? Good or bad. And we start to think, wow, like maybe this isn't good for me or like, wow, this is good for me, right? It's all about your emotion, how, how you regulate your own body. It goes off into this bioelectrical field and then you mesh it and then you feel it from other people and they feel yours as well. That being said, right? You need to, sound, you need to surround yourself with both of those fields, 
right? Not the feels entirely, like I said, but good and bad, right? And I've said this already, but I will say it again. It's just to affirm your position in your world. You need to know what you know and what you believe in. And everyone's going to believe something different, but specifically with you, it's important because that's your identity. And your identity is you. You don't want to lose yourself. You don't want to be in these echo chambers. You don't want to not have anyone around you and lack any communication to where you don't even know what is right or wrong. You don't even know what your own thought process is, right? So you need to have the goods and the bads. You need to have the ups and downs so you can affirm what you are, who you are, who you want to be, your goals in life, this and that, right? So um, with that being said, it can be very difficult, so, so difficult, but you need that that negativity to understand the positivity, right? And that's why yin and yang exists. That's why there's black and white. That's why there's polar opposites because with love, there's hate, right? With liking, there's disliking. That's just how the world works. There's preference, right? There's opinions. So in order to understand who you are, you need to surround yourself with the bad, right? Just to say it. And then you need to also likewise surround yourself with the good all in all the whole point of what i'm trying to say is is that we as people need to constantly communicate we need to be out there we need to go and we need to surround ourselves with people with like-mindedness and unlike-mindedness we need to surround ourselves with difference we need to surround ourselves with similarity we need to just surround ourselves because once we're not surrounded we're alone and once we're alone, we might as well have just stopped history right there because nothing else happens from there. We're just, we're done. That's just, we just become what we are at that moment. That's why when we see these people who have um, lived a life of solidarity intentionally or unintentionally, they usually haven't changed much from the first time you saw them. I guess not the first time, but the last time you saw them in that position because there's not much to change. That's it, they've locked in. That's them now. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but if you want to continue a life of not change, but growth in whatever field, whatever mindset, whatever, right? Then you need to continue to surround yourself and change yourself because not doing that leads you towards a stagnant path, so. That's for you to decide. I'm not gonna decide that for you, but I figured it was a nice conversation to be had so that there aren't people, you know, walking around thinking things will change when they're not doing something to change them. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I hope we're all having a great day. I know it's been a little long on the last video, but um, more ideas, more stuff coming soon. But keep that in mind. Surround yourself with your surroundings, basically. Y'all stay safe, okay?